Hello, Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're an existing viewer. Um, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be some tarot messages for you for the upcoming week. Um, we'll see what the cards can reveal um, into what's happening for you this these next seven days. Uh, so I've laid out a few cards here for you, Earth Signs. You've got the Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. Um, so very strong fire energy um, is coming your way, potentially around Leo energy. Um, <clears throat> you're in a Leo kind of week, which is really, really powerful um, because you're represented by that sort of, uh, sort of governed by that Leo energy this week. And I feel like this is, uh, this is very powerful in itself. Um, because I feel like you're going to be initiating a lot of things, um, earth signs. I feel like you're going to be putting offers out to people. It's going to be because of you. Um, you're going to have the first word. You're going to break the ice. Um, you're going to be the one to make that offer. You're going to be the one to sort of push things along. Um, not because everything falls on your shoulders, but because you'll want to. Um, and it's, I don't see you being in a space where you feel like no one is doing their part or you feel like maybe your person isn't doing their part or isn't going the extra mile. Um, it's because you genuinely want to do that. Um, and it could even surprise you in a lot of ways um, with that Four of Cups here. So you could genuinely be surprised as to, yeah, as to how this, how this all takes place and, and how this, how this is shaped um, in the, uh, in, in the coming week, I feel like with the four of cups, there's something that you're going to learn about, um, your emotions, or you're going to sort of be very surprised by how you feel. Now, I think there may be some sort of argument or some sort of division, uh, and that's sort of evidenced with the five of ones. Um, I feel like this could be indicating that there's going to be a line drawn in the sand. Now, it's either you're going to take things, uh, you're going to take it upon yourself, earth, sign, earth signs, because you're sick of some sort of division, or um, maybe there's like a cyclical argument that keeps happening. I say cyclical because of the pentacle coin in the ace of pentacles and that five of ones. Um, it's almost like someone, you keep arguing about the same thing, or there seems to be a dysfunction or hiccups around the same sort of topic or subject. And, you know, it can be around paranoia or trust issues. Queen of Wands is known to be superstitious, so I'm getting the sense of paranoia. Um, and especially with the black cat, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like a symbol of superstition here. So um, this is potentially you or your person believing in something that is happening exterior to the situation. Um, almost as if there's something going on here and you know it's 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 more extreme than it needs to be um, or there's more to it than there needs to be type thing so um, I feel like this is your opportunity to sort of lay um, sort of put the record straight. I think with the Queen of Wands, there's, you know that something's up, you know that someone's uh, taking an issue with something here, um, and it's going to be sort of up to you, um, yeah, to sort of lay things straight here, and I feel like the Queen of Wands is telling you to do that. It's sort of like setting the record straight, Earth Signs, um, and, and I think it needs to happen. Uh, it needs to happen to sort of move the situation forward. Um, you are coming up into a transformational stage, which is great. The Ace of Pentacles tells me that there is a new love or a new connection or uh, the next chapter in your love life is is coming up this week. So there's lots of changes coming here. For a lot of you, it could be very unexpected because that Four of Cups is here. Um, or it's like this, this chapter moving away from that constant argument, that constant... Whatever this is with the Five of Wands, I'm wondering if other people are getting involved in your situation. Siblings, friends people that are jealous of your relationship, exes, um, and everyone's got something different to say. Everyone's got a different opinion. Um, 
And it's almost like the Queen of Wands is telling you that your opinion trumps them all. Um, the way you feel trumps them all. So make sure, I guess, not to be in an energy where you're, you're letting other people tell you how you feel. Uh, whether it is your person or other people completely exterior to the connection. You know, it's almost like in a way they're saying, well, you should be feeling this. They did that. Or, you know, how come you didn't react this way? Or how come you weren't this? You know, don't let those people get to you and don't let them tell you what it is you're feeling. Because internally, only you know what you're feeling. You know what activates, you know, feelings of, of dysfunction or upset. Um, and I feel like it's an empowering week because you'll be able to take control. Queen of Wands is, is, is a controlling energy. Um, so I don't know if there's a, a bit of control issues uh, coming to the surface here or there's um, there's opportunities for you to take control uh, of this situation. Um, there's opportunities for you to, yeah, s sort of maneuver your way through this situation here. And there's a lot of things that may come to light in the process. Notice how the Ace of Pentacles almost looks like the sun being that pentacle card. Um, what I'm wondering here is that the sun is like illumination. It's enlightenment. So I think there is something coming to light here. Um, but the sun is also power and it's also the self. So you have to be your biggest supporter. You have to be your biggest backer. You have to be your biggest advocate for what it is that you're feeling or what it is that you want to move on from or what it is that you want to push away, like you want to push away those arguments uh, or you want to push away those, you know, that sort of tendencies. Uh, the only way you're going to be able to do that is if, you, uh, you know, there's control that's needed here. Now, Queen of Wands is also dominance of signs. So you're the dominant energy in this connection. You're the dominant emotion. Um... So you, I, I think it's very important for you to keep that in mind um, this coming week. I really do. A really interesting reading for you, though. Different things, but strong fire energy, which is making me think like control and stubbornness and competition. Competitive energy is coming up in a connection. Um, and that's why I feel like there's there's a fight for dominance, maybe a fight for control. Who's got the upper hand? Who's going to break the ice first? Who's going to be the one to do it? I think it's you. Um, there's a lot of initiative coming from you. You're in a very powerful energy, Earth Science. So um, embrace it, explore it, apply it where you need to, because it can really get you to that next chapter um, with that ace coming up here for you. Now you've got that hand of God that has come up twice. So, you know, obviously there is some sort of divine intervention here on your part. Um, I will leave it at that though, Earth Signs. So uh, thank you again for watching and hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So uh, thanks again and bye for now.